What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Aloha Friday to some people out there as well, too. Y'all know Aloha Friday. We know work till Monday. All right. So, new PayPal scam going on. Got hit with it today. Matter of fact, I'm on my way to Fort Knox to go pick up mail and uh, got two alerts on my phone. So, PayPal, my phone set that, like, if I receive a payment or send a payment, it has a little pop up, like, you get a text message and stuff. And I was like, oh, man, crap, somebody just bought two cards or something like that, you know. I'm like, I'm going to have to uh, go to the other post office now and get these shipped out today. So I get to the Fort Knox post office, open up, and it's like, you have an invoice. I'm like, what? Who's invoicing me and for what? And I was like, wait a minute, I pay my antivirus stuff always in January. So that's how I knew right off the bat, big red flag. So I end up calling PayPal up. And as you guys can see here, that's who sent Lorna Harris, and no business name there. And then if you look, when you open the invoice up, that's what it says right there, phone number and everything. It actually came through, too, as a real PayPal, like to my PayPal, a real PayPal generated email and everything like that. So after I got customer service on the phone, real nice lady, um... I can tell you end state is this. They, I can't click that pay now button even if I try it. It's blocked. But it will still take one to two weeks for it to be eliminated off the system. I guess it's kind of painful to do that. But what she told me was really interesting. I told her I wanted to put it in a YouTube video. And she said, please do. And I'm like, all right, cool, you know. So I just want to dissect this just in a quicker part piece here. If you look, it says malware bytes protection. Well, like I said, all my stuff is done beginning in January, so I knew it had to be something wrong. It lists a phone number. Whatever you do, do not call this phone number because they're gathering information. See, their hopes are either, one, you're going to pay this. Two, you're not going to pay and call the phone number. Then they're going to get your information that they really don't have already. And they are now going to use your personal um your personal information to a scandal out there. So when you call the phone number up, and she told me, I guess a bunch of people have called these phone numbers, and this is pretty much their line. You're gonna, they're gonna ask you to verify the email address it went to. Then they're gonna play around. Okay, can you verify your name, address, and phone number? We'll say right, and you'll do that because hey, we all do that. Verify. Hey, I don't want this, you know. This has to be true. It got sent through PayPal, right? At that time frame, then they're going to be like, all right, we need to ask you a, uh, like a security question or two. It might say, like, what's your date of birth? Um, with this here, they wouldn't verify social if they asked you that. That would be the biggest flag. But most people, would need, like, date of birth, we'll just rattle it right off. Yeah, it's my birthday. Hee hee, ha ha, you know, whatever it is out there. By doing that, you're giving them more and more information on yourself that they're going to use to build another scam around. So she said, to let everybody know, don't call them. Call PayPal directly. They will flag this account. You won't pay them, have to pay the invoice. The invoice will fall off the whole account one to two weeks. So really crazy. And we started talking about my business and stuff real quick on the phone. And she talked about where now you're getting, there's ones they're seeing where they'll have something to do with sporting tickets. Like, example was, hey, congratulations, this is for the insurance and shipping to for your tickets, please, uh, that you won, yada, yada, da, da, da. And it might be like, say, $25, $29.95, whatever, and people are paying it, never get tickets. And if you call that phone number, they're going to go through a bigger thing about trying to gather more information on you to use your information as a scam. Uh, it, it's just insane with it all. The other one dealt with, it wasn't like baseball cards per se or autograph memorabilia, but it was uh, like sporting clothing like jerseys and stuff like that there. So just be careful, guys. If you didn't order it, I mean, unless you personally would know the company, maybe you can call the company up, like say it came out for like Blowout or Fanatics, I guess you can go try to eliminate it that way. Me, I know I didn't order this. And even if I got one that said Fanatics on here, I know I didn't order Fanatics. I would still call them up, have them do their end on to it, because I probably should have a direct receipt from Fanatics or an email from them, right? This would make sense. All right, guys, just wanted to show this here to you real quick. Um... I would 
ever thought of this, and most of the stuff you get is all from the fake little cover-up um, email saying, oh, you owe us money, or click this, or PayPal, and they're really not. You guys know, just hover over the email address, and it'll show you the real email address type deal. If it's not a PayPal one, fake. Or if you don't know, just call PayPal up. But, all right, guys, yeah, they were real quick to dissolve this and give me some more information just to let everybody know out there, be aware of this stuff. Uh, to me, it's new. Might be, you guys might have known about this for a while. I have no idea. But first time I've ever seen it, it was really different. I just wanted to make sure that, because it was due today, that somehow I wasn't going to automatically draft the money tomorrow or et cetera, et cetera. All right, guys, take care. I'll be on for overtime tonight. Uh, show in Salem tomorrow. I'm not set up. going to walk around, try to get some good footage. Other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. Take care of a good one. See you guys next time.